so the Flintstones movie. All right, let's talk about this movie. Um, not really much goes on in this movie, the Flintstones 1994 film. Yeah, it came out in 1994. It's played by you know John Goodman, uh, Rick Moranis. John Goodman plays you know Fred Flintstone because you know he's fat, so you got him to be him. And you got fucking Rick Moranis playing the playing Barney. Also, you got fucking... What's the other fucking guy? Oh, yeah. You got Rosie O'Donnell playing Betty Rubble. What? Yeah, that's the thing. Because in the in the, the cartoon, she looks she looks sexy. But in the, in the live action, she looks like a... A big chick. I'm like, uh, okay. That's... Well, I, I, I don't understand that. What, 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 what's, what was that choice they made picking her? Was there any other better choices to pick for Betty Rubble? That's the thing I never get about that. That's, that's definitely like Harvest like miscasting right here. But Rosie O'Donnell. That doesn't even you want like Rosie O'Donnell. I don't think anybody likes that lady. Uh, but I, I, and uh, and, uh, one of the plays Wilma is Elizabeth Perkins. I, I forgot who, who, who she is. I think she's seen like in a lot of stuff. I just don't remember her much. Maybe she's she related to Anthony Perkins. I don't fucking know. Like, I just, this movie is like, it's all about, you know, this, this corrupt, uh, fucking, uh, corrupt fucking boss who, who runs, you know, Fred Flintstone's job and stuff like that. He's a crooked asshole. He wants someone to run his, he wants someone that's stupid enough to run his fucking thing with his secretary played by Halle Berry, which she was pretty high. I think this must be one of her big, first big roles is this movie, I think. Because this came out in 1994, that's when she just, just started acting in the 90s. I don't know if she started in the 80s, maybe she did, but I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember one movie her being in the 80s. This must be one of her big roles. And, you know, yeah, Halle Berry is sexy in here, of course. Who, who wouldn't think Halle Berry is sexy? Yeah, that the whole the whole thing about the movie is about about Fred Flintstone really wants to get this promoted job to be the head of it, the the to be the, one of the head people of the place for uh, his boss, the cro the crooked guy, and they decided to take a test with with Buddy Barney. They're taking his test and shit, you know, tapping the motherfucking thing with the uh, tool, trying to write it down. And fucking Barney felt so bad for for, uh, for his buddy Fred that he decided to switch it, switch the fucking uh, the test. Just help, help him become the head. Cause he felt so bad for him. Like, you know, this guy sucks so bad at trying to pass the stash. I'm gonna help him out and get be the head. Which he did, and Fred becomes the head of the place, and blah blah blah. I mean, yeah, some things were funny about that. About him being the head of the place and stuff like that. And you know how it turns out. You know, they don't find the bad guy, the bad guy of the place. He wanna do some crazy shit. To try to run it down, and blah blah blah. Do all this corrupted bullshit. Played by it's, it's, he played this the guy named name is Cliff. He's played by Kyle McLaughlin or something. I think I remember him from somewhere. I forgot what, what shit he's from. Kyle McLaughlin. Let's see here. He's from a show called Wait, what's the, Twins Peak? He's from the original Dune movie, 1984. The original Dune. He was in a movie called Showgirls. Our people said that movie sucked, and he he played the dad in Inside Out. He voiced the dad in Inside Out. So that's basically what he really did. He, and there's a lot of roles he did. I'm just saying those are the main ones that popped up IMDb. Yeah, it's just yeah. There's something that's funny. That's like a time like uh, fucking Fred shows back at his house drunk and his I guess his fucking uh, mother-in-law came in the house. She's like, you, you look drunk as a skunk. Oh, uh, like that, that that was funny and stuff. I guess. But yeah, I guess you know how this movie turned out. And then Barney gets mad at Fred because the whole. Because he, he should know he never should have switched the, the things with him because, you know, Fred being a douchebag, because he, he's the big head now, he being an ass to his friend and stuff. Like, they, they always do that with these types of stories. They make, they make the character be an ass because he's, he's like, has the, he's bigger than him now and shit. Even though this movie is pretty faithful to the original cartoon, the 60s cartoon, they're pretty faithful to, with it, with the, uh, the characters, except for, except for uh, Rosie O'Donnell. That, that, that was miscasting as fuck. That was really miscasting. But this movie was very faithful to the original stuff. Not like, not like those other movies you see, you know, they're never faithful to the original shit at all. This is one of them actually is trying to be faithful to the old story, you know, 
Fred Golden bowling, doing his tippy toes and stuff like that. And you know, I like I like the, the Flintstones cartoon. It, it's pretty funny. It's a pretty funny cartoon for a 60s show, you know. You know, there is some good 60s, 60s shows, not not all of them. Like one of I Spy with Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 I actually like that. Even though you know, Bill Cosby's a weirdo, but yeah. But yeah, it's like this movie. It's, it's okay. It's it's, it's alright movie. It still kind of sucks because it's just sometimes the jokes go stale and like most times they're not really that funny or hilarious. If Dino's in here. I, th I think I, I don't know. I think Bam Bam is in here too. I remember Bam Bam. Yeah, they got they got most characters in here. Didn't they made that shitty sequel? Is that's worse than this one? It's called I think it's called Viva La Vegas or something like that. It's like totally different actors. John Goodman didn't they come back. Rick Moranis definitely didn't came back. Nobody came back. It's like totally different people. The only person I know from that movie was Stephen Baldwin as Barney. Stephen Baldwin played Barney in that movie. Are you fucking kidding me, Stephen Baldwin? So yeah, that's what happened. It's like nobody came back because no one wanted to fucking do that shit again. Because it, it, everyone know everyone. No, the movie sucked the first one. That's why no one came back to the real, real Rock Vegas. That's what it's called. Let's see here. Let me look at this trivia here. Danny DeVito was Steven Spielberg's first choice for the part of Barney. DeVito felt his acting style was too gruff to probably portray Barney and turn the part down. So equivalently, DeVito recommended Rick Moranis for the part. You know, I wouldn't mind Danny DeVito playing Barney. Because Danny DeVito is hilarious. I wouldn't mind him, actually. But they, they should give him a different role, Danny DeVito. They should give him a different role in this movie. Instead of just, just toss him off. Like, that, that that's stupid. Since the entire guest performed barefoot, class where of any kind was banned from the set to prevent any injuries. Yeah, and no one wanted no fuck up foot. Harry Corman who voices the, the Ditch of Bird and this film voiced the Great Gazoo in the 60s animated television series. Yeah, well, why wasn't the Great Gazoo in this movie? Was he in this movie, I think? I, I think I remember he was in this. The Rick the Great Kazoo. I don't think he was. But he 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 should have been here too, but he's not into like the Viva Rock Viva Rock Vegas, the shitty directed video or I don't know if it was theatrical release or not. I, I don't fucking know, I don't care. Completely filmed during John Goodman's summer hiatus from the Roseanne 1988 show between the sixth and seventh seasons. I don't like Roseanne. The final appearance in the actual film for Elizabeth Taylor. There's a piece. I'm trying to find something about uh, what the whole Betty Rubble ch uh, casting choice. I, I I just don't get that. Uh, a live action version of Flintstones has been in development for a number of years. Before this version would not have been made if Juggalo had, had had turned down the role of Fred. So it would not have been made if, if he turned down the role. Damn. One of the reasons Brian Levent was selected to be a director was because he was a genuine fan of the animated series. He clearly had a large commercial collection of Flintstones merchandise. What a nerd. Uh, the cartoon version probably was supposed to be a short man, no actors, fit, five foot six or taller, were considered for the role. Yeah, he supposed to be short. John Kane was considered for the role of Flint Flintstone, was his all-time favorite cartoon, but he passed away in '94. Candy also previously portrayed the role of Buck Russell and Uncle Buck for the role which you couldn't consider before. John Kane was supposed to play Uncle Buck. Nah, he he will, he will not work as Uncle Buck. Fucking, uh, not, not getting did it better. John Kane did it way better. <coughs> okay, although she's not a real match for Betty Rebel, Roselle Dow nailed her audition for the role. How she nailed it? Nailed her audition role by really perfecting, perfecting Betty Rebel's laugh? Are you shitting me? Because she had a great laugh? They still picked Rosie O'Donnell? What's, what's wrong with these people? What's wrong with the director picking her? I, I don't get it. What's good? What's great about Rosie O'Donnell? I don't get it. That's that's really bad miss. That's miscasting. Jesus Christ! It's just like with fucking Clay Thompson. I mean, not Clay Thompson. <laughs> I said a basketball player. I meant Flash Thompson. My bad. I I don't to get those things mixed up. <laughs> uh, fucking NBA. Yeah, I don't get it. Who 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 was the other person besides uh uh? Rosie Down. I'm trying to look through here. I can't find anything like that. 
Let's see this here. Jim Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, and Chevy Chase were all considered well Fred Flintstone, but they all seemed too skinny and, and a fat suit was deemed too inappropriate. Yeah, Jim Belushi, I don't think he would fit. Dan Aykroyd, no. Bill Murray, definitely not. Chevy Chase, no. But those, those guys will not fit. That, that, that's terrible. That's terrible casting. It's like we did with fucking Betty Rubble. Alright, here we go. Janine Turner was originally considered to play the part of Betty Rubble, which would have fit the cartoon Betty looks more, but they went for the more conven co comedic performance. What? Betty Rubble was supposed to be like a, really a comedian, I don't think. Let me see what she looks like real quick. I gotta see here. She would have been better than fucking Rosie O'Donnell. What the hell? Are you? She looked up, she's hot. So they went from, from a hot chick to a fat chick. I, I, I don't get that. Wow, just, just wow. Janine Turner is, is hot, and they we went with fucking Rosie O'Donnell. Wow, great job. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Because they went for the more comedic performance. Oh my fucking god, but that's that's the dumbest shit I ever heard. She was not supposed to be even a comedian. Betty Rubble was not supposed to be a fucking comedian. How do you ever watch the fucking cartoon? In the cartoon, she looks hot. She's not supposed to look like Rosie O'Donnell in live action. No one, nobody imagined that when they're watching the cartoon. I wonder what she looked like in live action. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell? No, fuck no, they will not say that. Fred Flintstone's secretary's name is Sharon Stone. The role was meant to be played by actress Sharon Stone as a joke, but she turned it down due to scheduling conflicts. So, so I don't, who fucking cares? Sharon Stone. Making jokes. Jago refused to watch any of the Flintstones anime cartoons that was drawn by ABC animators filmed 28, 33 years earlier while making the movie in effect. Tried to change the voice of Fred. Steven Spur ensuring that he had to do the cartoon voice. That was so stupid with the whole fucking Betty Rubble shit. That was like the dumbest idea ever. Dudley Moore was considered to play Barney Rubble. That would have been terrible. Dudley Moore would not fit that role. So yeah. The worst thing about this movie was the casting of Betty Rubble. That's the worst thing. The other chick was way better. She was like way more attractive. Why didn't you just go with her in the first place? Oh, because he needed a comedic performance for Betty Rubble. Let's get Rosie O'Donnell. Who just looks nothing like Betty Rubble in the cartoon. It's it's stupid, but everything else. This movie, this movie, like I said, this movie's all right. It, it kind of sucks, but it's all right fun. It's, it's not that bad. They, they're actually trying to be faithful to the movie, except for Betty Rubble. Ugh, fucking Christ, man. Ah, uh, yabba dabba doo doo. Ah, uh, French stout, fucking tongs and bones. Yeah, this, this movie, like I said, it kind of sucks, but it's all right. It's all right, though. I, I just watch it because it, it's it's so bad, it's good type of thing. And fuck it, I don't wonder why they never did the, the Jetsons movie. They never did it. So let me get straight. You do the Flintstones, you do Tom and Jerry, you do uh, what's our hammer? Scooby Doo movies, but you don't do the Jetsons movie. There's no live-action Jetsons movie. I, I don't understand that. I don't know why they never did that yet. They had, they had the technology to do it. For some reason, they never did it for some reason. I wouldn't mind a Jetsons live-action movie, but they never did. They don't want to do it for some reason. I don't get it. I wouldn't mind watching it. That's weird. That's weird that they never did a Jetsons movie. I just find that strange. <laughs> 